still remember these. This was state of the art 50 years ago, roughly. And uh, yeah, typical analog camera. And back then, of course, uh, you shot your films or photos on these films. And this was rather expensive back in the day, but today it's even more expensive and uh, a bit cumbersome. So, of course, I did the obvious and replaced this film cartridge by a digital cartridge based on a Raspberry Pi. So you have a digital camera um, that looks like this and can do everything that you expect from a digital camera nowadays. It can do video, it can do uh, stream video over Wi-Fi and uh, store things on an SD card. So let's find out how I built this and how this works. Just a quick recap how these things work back in the day. So you could open these up here in the back like so. And here you have a compartment for your film cartridge. So you put, pull that handle here up, put that film in here and spool it in on the other side and then you're good to go. And this here is of course the shutter that opens and exposes the film. So rather simple. And I actually did a copy kind of this design and um, built this. So this is the same as uh, this format wise. And uh, what you're seeing here is the Raspberry Pi camera with its lens removed. So that this actually behaves like the film did in the analog camera. And um, everything else is pretty much uh, not that uh, spectacular. We have a Raspberry Pi Zero W, so we have Wi-Fi. This is the camera. And uh, here we have a LiPo battery and a DC to DC converter to boost that up to five volts for the Raspberry Pi. And of course, this fits nicely here into the camera, camera like so. And then you have a digital camera. Let's try out how that works. <laughs> and we have an image. Oh, this is really far zoomed in. Actually, it's hard for me to orientate myself. So what do we have here? Well, a tree here in the background, focus a bit better. Well, actually, image quality is not that bad. Actually, I'm quite surprised. So what you're seeing here, uh, this is full HD. But yeah, this looks nice. Let's go to another uh, location and see how that works. This lettern in reality is actually that one here. So you get get a rather good impression of the amount of zoom that we are having here. Um, yeah, but overall, from the image quality standpoint, I'm really impressed. This is filmed down the street. Um, well, you can see it's wiggling still a bit, but not too bad. Image quality looks fine so far. Well, and uh, now we see some cars passing by here. And again, well, actually, this looks pretty good. So, well, actually, I couldn't really tell from this that this was shot on a 50-year-old camera. Looks pretty much like a digital camera to me. Overall, I'm really happy how this turned out. Like, uh, this actually gives some interesting and nice-looking images. And it feels so weird having this uh, old-school cameras doing live streams here uh, over Wi-Fi and uh, recording video, it's really an odd feeling, but a really fun one. So uh, <laughs> I can only recommend uh, to also build uh, something for your cameras because it is really fun and gives uh, these things a new life, which is, I think, uh, always great for these nice, uh, high-quality retro tech uh, items. All right, then, thanks a lot for watching, and see you soon. Bye.